All right, welcome to the official Track Talk Tuesday of 2014. So this is the first Track Talk Tuesday. Yes, I realize it's the second Tuesday of the year, but yesterday was the first Monday of the year. Did you know that? Um, if you follow me, then you did. If you don't, then you may or may not have known. But yesterday was the first Monday. So pretty much this Track Talk Talk Tuesday. Since it is a new year and it is the first track Tuesday, I want to talk about consistency and continuing um, all of the good things that you had in 2013 into 2014. Um, I know at the beginning of the year everyone's always thinking of new things that they want to do for the year, but as far as what I've learned from 2013, I want to keep those same good things from 2013 and continue them with me into 2014. So I'm not looking for anything new to do or change about myself or anything of that nature because as far as I'm concerned, 2013 was a great year for me and I don't want that to end. So instead of ending it by saying, oh, this is a new year, it's going to be a new me, I'm going to do new things and have all this new stuff all over the place, I'm going to declare that I'm going to continue to do the same things that I did in 2013 and hope that by continuing the same um, work, not workouts, but like whatever I was doing then obviously was working. So I'm going to keep doing what I was doing then because there's no need to change it if it works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it or <laughs> whatever that saying is. Um, so what I say to you is consistency. Consistency is always key when it comes to anything in life. Um, for example, the people who make it in entertainment pretty much have a drive and they're doing the same things over and over. They might be tweaking here or there, taking note of what was good and what was bad throughout the entire year and continuing to do those same good things to make sure that their outcome is great. But most people don't become famous within that first year of trying. A lot of them um, have stories where they were doing something for four years or five years or ten years for some of them. Um, there, I forget which comedian, he's like super old, but he's been a comedian for like 50 years and he just got famous maybe like 10 years ago. But I mean, it's just consistency. Whoever does something the longest is bound to be famous or get the end result that they want in the end. And it's mainly because they probably tried almost everything possible to get them to where they need to be so they know exactly what they need to do, how to get there. Or they just know the right people and somehow magically got to where they needed to be. So this year for me, 2014, I'm going to declare is uh, consistency. So staying consistent in all of my work efforts that I put forth in 2013, all of the eating habits, okay, those might need a little change um, and they'll be a little better this year. I know I say that all the time and then I like pig out on like cookies and ice cream, but you know, actually I came to the conclusion that since I'm so tiny, I feel like I burn a lot of energy. So I feel like I need to eat like cookies and ice cream like every day if possible. I don't really like ice cream in the summertime, mainly winter time, but I feel like, you know, indulging in sweets is probably very good for me. So yeah. That might stay the same. I might just continue eating more fruits and vegetables like I've been doing and then throw some cookies and candy in there every now and then. And I actually really don't like candy or sweets. Just have cravings for them once in a while. So I'm going to keep my eating habits the same and just eat more fruits and vegetables. Disregard that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to continue to do the same things, meet new people, network, um, train hard, lift weights, keep notes, and do these Track Talk Tuesdays because they seem to be helping um, me and other people, <laughs> hopefully. And so with that and through all of that rambling, hopefully you learned something. Um, the key note to take away is just that consistency is key. Like if you keep doing something, you're going to get better at it. Um, Unless you keep doing it wrong, then you'll just get better at doing it wrong. So make sure you're doing it right. That way you get better at doing it right. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, consistency is key. So I'm going to continue to do the same things I did in 2013. All, all the good things. I don't think I did anything bad that I can remember. Um, 
and then hope that all those good things that I did in 2013 will carry on into 2014. So there's not a new Serena, there's no new diet plan, there's, and I don't like the word diet, so take that out of your vocabulary too. Um, because diet is more so like things, it reminds you of things that you can't eat, and I don't like that negative vibe so think of it as like a lifestyle change I prefer that word because then it's like learning how to eat the things you like in moderation because technically you can eat whatever you want you just have to keep track of how much of it you're eating and making sure you're exercising daily um, so no new Serena no new diet no well I got new hair but I mean okay Gosh, new hair, I guess, but it's not new anymore because I did in 2013, so it's the same technically, right? <laughs> so no new anything, just same consistent Serena. And hopefully from listening to this video, instead of invoking upon like new things that you want to do in your life and making January 1st like it's a new you and you're going to do a whole bunch of new stuff, just think about all the good things you did in 2013 and continue them on to 2014. So don't worry about being a whole new person. Just be the same you and take all the good things from 2013 and carry them into you to 2014. So that's all I have for this Track Talk Tuesday today. Also, um, what's today's date? Today is the 7th. So on the 11th, I'm going to plug my camp. For those of you who live in Fresno, California, I will be doing a hurdle clinic uh, this weekend, two days from 11 to 2 at my high school, my alma mater, where I currently hold the school record. I believe it's still there from like 2005. I felt really old yesterday because I asked some girl like how old she was. Um, I can't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name. I know who she is. Um, and she knows who she is probably now, but she was like, I graduated in 2013. I was like, wow, way to make me feel old. I graduated high school in 2005. So yeah, I'm noticing that I am getting older, even though people still think I'm in high school. I'm not. I graduated college. I'm a professional athlete now. I'm getting old. And so yeah, I forget what I was talking. Oh, my camp. Um, so if you're in the Fresno area, Visalia, Selma, Sanger, uh, Fowler, I believe is kind of close. Can't really remember all those other little cities. But anyways, if you want to go, come. Um, there's a link online. I'll put it also below where you can go check it out. And um, come. It's going to be great. I'm going to teach you guys tons of, tons of cool things um, about track and field and hurdling at the elite level and what it's like and how I got here. So, um, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, outside of that, I will talk to you guys later. Oh, yeah, my hair is, like, super nappy because I didn't feel like doing it. So, if you were wondering, like, gosh, Serena's hair is nappy. It is. Um, it'll be done next Truck Talk Tuesday. <laughs> but until then, talk to you guys later. And have an awesome new year. No, like, same new year or consistent new year. Or whatever words you want to use so that it's new year. <laughs> Alright, bye you guys.